want to hear that we have bigger guns than you have and then you're trying to actually minimize our biceps routine so you feel better about your tiny guns. That's not how it works. Uh, let's move over to the food again. So, um, so if you have a problem that we are not eating what you are eating and then you're trying to push it in our face, that's like a big no-no. You know, you don't know how many guys that I have turned down after the first date because they are trying to actually change me into something else that I am. I mean, it's just like, do I look like someone that goes out partying five times a week and drinks and eats chocolate? And it's really nice that you give me chocolate on Valentine's, but if I'm dieting for a show or a photo shoot, then week after it's actually sabotage. Let's move over when you have a relationship with some uh, fitness woman. If she feels fat one day because she has PMS or she's bloated and she asks you, do I look, like, look fat in this? That's a trick question, yes, for normal women. But if you tell a fitness woman that she doesn't look smooth on a day when she's smooth, she's gonna slap your face. Because you're a liar then. We understand that our body can look ripped one day and then smooth the other day. And we ask you to be the judge here. Do I look smooth in this? <laughs> it's not about being fat, it's actually smooth. Am I retaining water? And if you guys say no, no, you look fine. It's like, you know, in your face. Now I need a little break. I have a personal pet peeve. It's that guys that are in shape and that you, f and that you find at the gym, they assume that you know, all the fit women, they want all these guy friends. Like, yeah, you, got, you must get a lot of guy friends. Just what are you in implying there? You know, it's not like you have a, a whole harem of guys because you, you have a fit body. I mean, maybe someone does, but I don't think many. Um, and we want to work out often. And if you tell us that we can't work out, you know, like maybe you're trying to minimize it to three times because we need to spend more time together. Time together, come and work out instead. The gym time is like church time. You just have to go, but you don't just go on Sundays, you go every day. Another thing with guys, um, they say, I have to think. Yeah, so let's say you are cooking your girlfriend or your date dinner and you think it's all healthy because you're gonna do all the olive oil and salmon and nuts and all that stuff and you think that she's gonna eat a lot of it because it's healthy and then you get angry because she's not eating it because she's dieting. You know, that can be a deal breaker. So just let her just let her eat whatever she wants. Don't pick on it. Don't tell her that she has to add sauce or that she's not living a life and there's more to life than this. Oh, that takes me to a whole other star story. That not all women want to have kids. We don't want to breed and have a family. Not everyone. So then don't tell us that that we should, you know, should have kids because you want to have kids with this woman. I mean, you, she might be the perfect woman for you, but not the other way around. Um, and for those women that want to get pregnant, remember that don't tell her that she will lose her figure after she's being pregnant. Most fitness women who are in shape before pregnancy, they will return to their nice fit body after. So you don't, you don't want to scare her. If you want to scare her, then you can get pregnant yourself. I think I have said enough. Awesome. That's it.